Hey guys, Coach Jada here. Today I'm going to be taking you through an at-home gymnastics practice. So we're gonna do a little bit of warm up, stretch, and some basic skills. That way you can keep practicing and training and make up any missed time you might be having due to vacations or sickness or whatever else. So I'm going to do a bit of the warm up with you and some of the basics. I'll give a demonstration of a lot of stuff. Um, but at times throughout the video, I'm going to say, okay, now pause the video and go do five or 10 of this. So when I say that, um, feel free to come up, pause the video, go do your assignment, and then come back and hit play so we can continue together, I guess. Um, so let's get started. All right, so to begin, we're gonna do a little bit of a, bit of a warm up and then go through the stretches that we typically do at practice and a few other things. So let's get our bodies warm and moving with 20 jumping jacks. You can do these with me. Feel those legs moving. You should be in a nice um, open area as much as you can in your house. That way you don't hit anything, knock anything over. I think that was 20. Um, now we're gonna do 10 backwards arm circles. And then we go forwards for 10. And then we go across for 10. Warm up those shoulders. Good, all right. We're gonna sit in a straddle, get stretching. So legs out to the side, knees up to the ceiling, toes pointed, and have arms out to the side. Lean over, feel that stretch. You'll probably feel it here and in your hamstrings. All right, and we'll reach to the other side now. Good, and come up, nice reach tall, and we're gonna go down to the middle. Remember, try to keep those knees up to the ceiling, like I say in class, as much as possible. We don't wanna be looking like this. Our feet should not be touching the ground. We're gonna have our legs out in a straddle still, and try to get your chest down to the floor. All right, now bring those legs together. We're gonna do a pike stretch. So reach up nice and tall and uh, get your chest down to your legs. Grab those toes, lean forward, feel that stretch in your hamstrings. And if you want more of a stretch, flex those feet, grab your toes, pull it back. We're gonna roll out our ankles, so cross one leg over. Roll them out, get those feet nice and warm. And we'll do the other ankle. And you can roll out your neck now, gently. Let's head on to our knees and we'll roll out our wrists. So we can do this one, roll them out this way, and then go down in front of you. Stretch them forward like this, backwards. Just really get those wrists warm like you do. We're gonna go into our lunge. So have one leg forward and lean forward into that hip. Remember we talk about bad lunges in class. That's like this, we don't want that. We want our knee to be in a straight line with our ankles and we should be feeling the stretch in our hips. We don't have to go super far. Now we're gonna lean back, straighten this front leg. I wanna see it really straight and point your toes.
and slide into your split. We're gonna hold it for a few seconds. You don't have to be all the way down, but make sure one hand's on either side and your knees are pointing up to the ceiling. All right, we're gonna hold our hands up. Five, four, three, two, one, and come out. All right, other leg lunge. Knee in line with your ankle. Leaning forward, feeling that stretch. All right, now reach back. Straighten that front knee, toes pointed. Lean to get your nose to your knee. And slide into your split. Same thing here. You don't have to be all the way down. Um, it might be your bad leg. So just have one hand on either side. Holding yourself up. Trying to get that knee towards the ceiling and your toe pointed. And ready. Arms up for five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. All right, now we're gonna go into a Spider-Man stretch. Stand up like this, lean to one side. Spider-Man. All right, and we'll switch to the other side. And now we're gonna do our straddle split. So come up here, slide into your straddle. And remember, stay standing there. Um, you're gonna want your butt, your hips, and your feet, everything to be in one line. So, like that. You don't wanna be back here. You don't wanna be like here. One line. It's okay if you're not all the way down. You can hold yourself up. I'll go for a few more seconds and shake it out. All right, now let's do seal stretch. Like a seal. At least you can't see me from the side. Try to get those legs together. All right, now we're gonna go back. Uh, cat stretch. Press those shoulders to the ground. Feel that stretch. Thread one arm through. All right, throw the other arm through now. And shake it out. All right, and we're gonna finish stretch like we do every class with a bridge, so. We go onto our backs, um, hands by our ears, and we'll push up and hold it. Try to get those legs straight. I know mine aren't. Um, there we go. And feet together. And try to get your shoulders over your hands. Back and back and forth. All right, so we should be feeling stretched and nice and warm. Okay, so now we're gonna do a few basic kicks um, to really just work on our lines and straight legs, pointed feet, everything like that. So you're gonna lay on your back. Um, you can be on your elbows like this. And the first thing we're gonna do are just forward kicks. So we're gonna lift one leg up, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Try to keep that uh, leg that you're kicking nice and straight, and the same, we don't want this leg coming up while we're kicking and bending. So both legs nice and straight, toes pointed as much as you can. And we'll go to the other leg. So ready, one. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right, now we're gonna stay on our backs. Same sort of position, we're gonna do front kicks, but we're gonna bring them up and around out to the side. So you feel it in your hips. So same thing, legs straight, toes pointed. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to go onto our sides. So still on your elbow, but you're going to be, feet are going to be out sort of like a mermaid. And you're gonna have your arm out front like this, nice pretty fingers, and we're gonna be kicking up to the ceiling with our legs nice and straight. Same thing we do in our straddles, knees to the ceiling, legs straight, toes pointed. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And flip it over, other leg, Arm out in front, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cool. All right, now we're gonna go back to that side, and we're gonna do five swing kicks. So you're gonna start with your front leg forward and your arm back, and then you're gonna bring it the opposite direction. So you're going to swing your leg and swing your arm in the opposite direction. So we'll count. Ready? Um, we'll go front, back, one, front, back, two, three, four, five. All right. Same thing. Flip it over. There we go. One, two, three, Four, five, good. All right, now we're gonna go on our stomachs and we're gonna do back kicks. So they don't have to be super high, but really make sure your legs are nice and straight. We're gonna do 10 on each um, leg. You can have your arms out. Uh, I would have them like this probably, or out to the side, whatever, it's up to you. All right, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. And the other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. All right. All right. Next, I'm going to send you off to do something on your own. So go in your house, wherever you are, find a wall. And you're gonna hold on to the wall, pretend like I'm holding onto the wall, and you're gonna have your other arm out, and we're gonna do 10 kicks front, side, back on each leg, like we do on B. So hold on to the wall, pretend my, this hand is my wall, arm out to the side, and we go one, two, 10 of those, 10 here, 10 to the back, um, straight legs, pointed feet, all that. Um, front, side, and back on both legs. So pause the video and go do those now. Okay, now you're gonna go do some jumps. So we're gonna, I'm gonna give you five of each jump to do. So start with five straight jumps. We um, practice these in practice, so you should know how to do it. So arms up, straight jump, and finish. Make sure to finish nice. Then you're gonna go and do five tuck jumps. So same thing, starting with your arms up, nice tight swing. Tuck jump, land, finish. Um, then five split jumps. Same thing, like nice tight legs. I'm not sure if that was good, but. Um, and then five straddle jumps. So same thing, arms up. Straddle jump, land, finish. So five straight jumps, five tuck jumps, five split jumps, and five straddle jumps. So pause the video and go do those now. 
friends, now that you're all warmed up from the jumps, we're gonna do five leaps. So with whatever space you have, you're gonna start on one side, and we're gonna do leaps, just five regular leaps like we do in class. So you can start with your arms here, we'll do step, leap, land, finish. So really just nice tight legs, focus on the details like we do. So go pause the video and do your five leaps now. Now we're gonna do what I'm sure is your favorite thing, tease. So there are just two things um, I want you to do um, when I say to pause the video. So we're gonna start, we're gonna start with a regular T. Arms up, we're gonna let her down, that T position, nice tight leg straight, toes pointed, land, finish. So you're gonna do five of those, five like T, land, finish. Then you're gonna do five, you're gonna add a jump at the end. So same thing, you can kick, T, bring your foot in, jump, so straight jump. So I want you to still keep that T position, make it nice and straight, and then when you bring your foot in, you bring your chest up and do that straight jump. So pause the video and go do your T's now, five of each. Okay, so now I want you to do some actual handstands. So to warm up, find a wall in your house or wherever you are doing this, um, and I want you to go through this two times. So you're gonna kick up onto the wall, like we've done on tumble track, where you like walk your feet up on the wall. And I want you to put your tummy against the wall. So you're gonna be in a handstand, tummy against the wall, nice and tight, and you're gonna hold that for 30 seconds, or like count to 30. So that, do one, come down, take a breather, then do another one. And then when you're finished with that, come back, and you're gonna do five handstands. So just like we do in class, Nice, start nice and tall, kick, don't forget about that T, handstand, try to hold it, T out, land, finish. Really just focus on those details and everything. So go pause the video, do your two handstands at the wall, and then five regular handstands. Um, don't do it if you're going to kick anything, um, only do it if you have the space. Don't want anyone getting there. So, go do that now. Okay, now I want you to go and do a few cartwheels. So start with regular cartwheels, just like we do in class. Nice and tight, kick, T, look under your arm, turn that hand, land, finish. So you're gonna do five cartwheels like that. Um, you guys know what, that, know what those are. If you're feeling adventurous, then go and try five cartwheels on your bad leg. So start with your other leg in front, same thing. Take it slow, you're gonna kick, Turn that second hand, try to land, finish. It's gonna be harder. And then the third thing, if you have the space and feel comfortable, um, cartwheels with one arm. So you're gonna start one arm up in the hair, land, finish. Um, but don't fall over or knock anything down. So five regular cartwheels, really focus on the details, five cartwheels on your bad leg, and then five cartwheels on one arm. And if you'd like, then do five round offs. If you have a space or a mat, um, so round offs, you can do them just from this. You don't have to hurdle. Stand tall, snap your feet, get that chest up, land, finish. So five round offs. And you can pause the video, go do that now. And then lastly, this is sort of optional. I know some people have these skills, some people don't. So if you feel comfortable trying it, them at home, you can do some handstand bridges. Um, same thing, pick up into the handstand, really lean nice and tight. Only do this if you have like mats or carpet or a trampoline or something safe. Don't, yeah, don't get into it. So same thing, nice and tall handstand, bridge, and you can just come back. And then also, if you feel comfortable trying, you can do five um, bridge kickovers. So same thing kick up in your bridge or push up in your bridge and you're gonna kick nice tight legs same thing land finish um only do those if you really feel comfortable have the room have the space um but other than that that's pretty much it for skills okay and that is pretty much all i have for you guys today for this video it was just a bit of warm-up stretch and some basics just to keep you moving keep you feeling in tune with your gymnastics while you're out 
Um, I know some people have other equipment at home, so I have some suggestions. If you have a bar, you can work on some nice tight casts, pullovers, just anything we do in practice. If you have a floor bar, you can work on planks, nice tight, like that hollow position that we work that cast with your ribs in um, that we've been like drilling every day in class. If you have, you can also do like the stand on the bar, jump to the wall that we've been doing where you like push on the wall. Um, so do some of those if you have a bar. If you have a beam, walks, jumps, leaps, kicks, anything we've been doing, you can try some side handstands. Just don't get injured, please. Um, and then just mats, if you have mats, trampolines, and feel like comfortable doing anything else, go for it. Just don't get, don't get hurt and um, do everything that's in reason and in your comfort zone. Like don't, and we can try new stuff at the gym, but um, just practice safely, please. Um, and like also just watch some stuff on YouTube, like or wherever. Even just watching gymnastics will help you visualize skills that you don't have yet, or you can learn some new tips with a skill you've been struggling in, struggling with. So that's what I would definitely recommend. But if you've done this video, you're good to go. So. I hope you enjoyed watching and got something out of this and were able to practice at home while you were away. So yeah, thanks so much and have a great rest of your day. Bye!